Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install both brushes and patterns inside of GIMP for both versions GIMP 2.8 and GIMP 2.9, which is currently in development version. So here for this tutorial I have a bunch of patterns on my desktop in a zip file, and then a bunch of brushes also in a zip file, that's how they would usually come. If you need a source for finding brushes and patterns, I would recommend sites like DeviantArt, where a bunch of artists will give you uh, basically brushes you can use for free. So from there, if you're on Windows, you need to go to your user profile, which is by default in C Drive, Users, and then the name of your user account. And then inside of here, there's going to be a hidden folder called GIMP-2.8, and you know it's hidden because it has a period in front of it. If you can't currently see your hidden folders, then go over to the View tab in Windows and check Hidden Items over here, and then it should show up. If you are on Linux or Mac, you're going to need to go to the user root, which you can get to just by putting in the squiggly sign, which is above the tab key. Um, and from there, it should be .gimp-2.8 as well. Now, if you are using GIMP 2.9, then where you need to go is type in app data in Windows, and that will bring you to your user profile app data roaming. And here you should be able to find GIMP specifically for version 2.9. If you open that up, you'll see GIMP 2.9, and then brushes over here, and patterns over here. But most people are going to currently be using 2.8, so I'm going to go back to my user profile and do the 2.8 version. So you basically notice that inside the actual folders, it looks the same for versions 2.8 and 2.9. The ones we care about are brushes here and patterns down here. So let's do brushes first. Brushes in GIMP are generally going to be these dot gbr files, GIMP brush files. So if I open up the zip file for my brush pack, and I come in here, there's some preview images, but what we actually care about are the .gbr files, so in GIMP brushes. We would drag these 18 into the .gimp 2.8 slash brushes folder, let them be inside here, and then the next time we restart GIMP, they should be there. Now for patterns, we just come down here to the patterns folder, and it's a very similar process. You'll notice that um, .png images are actually supported inside of GIMP 2.8, but in this case it gave me the PNG images and the .pat file, which I guess in this case it needs both of those in order to actually show up, because I wasn't able to get it to work otherwise. But here we have the pack, which I got off DeviantArt. So we have like 20-some PNG images and the .pat file. So for me I would need to drag the .pattern file on all these PNG images. I don't know if the .jpg is necessary, but I would grab them all anyway, and then we would just copy those into this patterns folder. So once you have your brushes and or patterns loaded up, what you need to do is restart your GIMP program. So I've already done that. I'm going to go ahead and create a new image just so we can see what we're working with here. So new brushes, if we use the paintbrush tool, will show up in this brush selector. You can see all of these different shapes. So if we try using the shape brush. You can kind of see it pop up there. If I increase the size though, it should be a lot more obvious. So this pack I grabbed is pretty cool because normally getting unique shapes inside of GIMP is a little bit trickier. It doesn't have the same built-in tools that Photoshop does, so a useful pack you would be able to grab. Now for patterns, uh, one place we can see that is bucket fill. If we go down here to pattern fill and we click on it, you'll notice that the 20 or so new pattern images have popped up, so I'm going to select one of those. Maybe we will create a new layer. So with this pattern created, I can fill in this object here, and maybe I select the pattern. Same idea. Pretty cool. So that's how you would install brushes and patterns for both GIMP 2.8 and 2.9. So I hope this tutorial has helped some of you guys out there who might have been trying to install some brushes and patterns. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.